known by many as the greatest wide receiver in NFL history. Stay tuned for more as we share interesting facts from the biography of Jerry Rice. Jerry Lee Rice was born on October 13, 1962 in Starkville, Mississippi. Our first interesting fact is all about bricks. I know that might sound random, but Jerry's father was a brick mason. That is where the legend of Jerry Rice's story began. There, while helping out, Jerry would catch bricks from his brother, throwing them to Jerry, which helped Jerry develop such strong hands. Breaking records is just what Jerry does. And that is where Jerry went on to attend college on a football scholarship. There, he broke 18 records while playing college football, including the most catches in a single game. After college, Jerry would go on to play in the NFL, being drafted in 1985 by the San Francisco 49ers in the first round. With this following fact, it is all about not giving up. That is where during Jerry Rice's rookie season, he struggled with catching the ball. But after putting in the work during his season as a second year player, he caught 86 passes and led the league in reception yardage with 1,570 yards and 15 touchdown passes. Jerry's success would continue on, where even during a year when players were on strike, Jerry set a single season record in only 12 games with 22 touchdown receptions being named NFL Player of the Year. Playing in the Golden State for the 49ers, Jerry would thrive and would go on to win three Super Bowl championships in 1988, 1989, and 1994. In a controversial move, Jerry would move on from the 49ers to play for the team across the bay, the Oakland Raiders. That is where he became the first player to register more than 200 career touchdowns as he helped the Raiders reach the Super Bowl where they would lose to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. After having much success in his career, this next fact, it's a no-brainer. That is where Jerry Rice would go on to be inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 2010. The success of Jerry Rice would continue on into retirement. That is where Jerry has been successful in sports broadcasting, co-authored two books, along with giving back with the United Negro College Fund and other youth programs. And there you have it with fun facts about historical figures here on Fresberg Cartoons.